Good afternoon. Today, we announced the first ever drug trafficking charges against a pharmaceutical company and two of its executives for illegally distributing prescription drugs that help fuel the opioid epidemic. Rochester Drug Cooperative, or RDC, is one of the nation's largest drug distributors. From 2012 to 2017, it shipped tens of millions of highly addictive oxycodone pills and fentanyl products to pharmacies that it knew were illegally dispensing narcotics. Fines reforms to which RDC has agreed. RDC's former CEO, Lawrence Dowd, is in custody and will be presented to a judge in the Southern District of New York this afternoon. Dowd is charged with conspiring to distribute oxycodone and fentanyl and with conspiring to defraud the DEA. Dowd led RDC during the entire period of the charged conspiracy and has alleged personally directed and profited from much of its criminal activity. Powell, one of the AUSAs handling the civil case at the charges with which he's, uh, you know, charged the, uh, the uh, conspiracy to distribute oxycodone and fentanyl carry a 10-year mandatory minimum sentence. To the right of Mr. Powell is Nick Rose. In 2012, RDC sold 4.7 million oxycodone pills to pharmacies. By 2016, that number was 42.2 million, an increase of 800 percent and the sales of fentanyl increased even more dramatically. In 2012 RDC sold 63,000 doses of fentanyl to pharmacies and in 2016 that number increased to 1.3 million, an increase of 2,000 percent. Why did they do it? The answer is greed. During the period alleged in the indictment RDC generated $1.2 billion of revenues from the sale of controlled substances. And Dowd's compensation was tied to that revenue. From 2012 to 2016, Dowd's compensation more than doubled. In 2016, Dowd made over $1.5 million, an increase of 127% from his compensation in 2012. I also want to acknowledge and thanks the Many of RDC's pharmacies raised red flags of diversion, blatant signs that they were selling oxycodone and fentanyl illegally. Red flags such as dramatic increases in the volume of controlled substance orders. Pharmacy customers paying cash for their oxycodone. Pharma pharmacy customers who travel from one state to another state to fill their prescriptions. Customers submitting prescriptions uh, filled out by doctors who were under investigation by law enforcement officials and on RDC's watch list of physicians. 